interesting. Well, shit happens. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. I mean, I just really, um, I'm just sort of, uh, I'm just sort of going wherever the work takes me and uh, sort of wherever I feel like uh, I need to be. I think the, the one thing that sort of came about from all this is that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm more selective about the projects that I want to work on now as opposed to, you know, being a blue collar guy from North Vancouver and wanting to work all the time. Sometimes uh, I think in the past I've, I've said yes to certain movies that maybe, you know, that didn't really do anything for me, but, uh, you know, I was just happy to be working all the time. Looks like your cigarette lighter's run out of gas, princess. I think that every experience to me now is more important um, in that, you know, I think, I think that in the past there, there have sort of been, um, there have sort of been certain projects or, or certain days in my life where I've just gone, eh, you know, whatever, eh, it's no big deal, or... You know, I, I think that those days have kind of come and gone because there are no more, there are no wasted days, there are no wasted experiences, and there are no, there's, there, there's nothing that doesn't matter anymore because, you know, I, I think that, you know, going through this, I think I really learned that, you know, that life is precious and, and I, need to, I need to be more appreciative of, of, of the things that I have in my life that are very good. You have a date with Marilyn Monroe? You're dreaming, bud. It can't be that tough. I'll just go up to her door, ring the bell. When she opens up, I'll say, hello, is Marilyn home? You want to see Marilyn. She's my mother. When I left Vancouver uh, back in 87, the only thing that I was really concerned about was I just wanted to be a working actor. That's it. Stardom, celebrity, you know, being on a hit or in a hit movie or on a hit show or whatever. I mean, those, those things never even crossed my mind. Well, what do you think? I'm impressed. Surprised, maybe a little confused, but impressed. That show was, was, was great for me and great for a lot of people. And really, um, anytime you do a show that lasts that long, uh, you know, it, it's... You know, if you're smart with your money and you take care of it, and, 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 and hey, you know what? Right. It wasn't a bad place to go to work every day either, let me tell you. We had a lot of fun. We had a good time making that show. You think we should still have the anniversary party? Absolutely. We have a lot to celebrate. <clears throat> no one thought we'd make it a year. Yeah. And with you gone, they'll know we're not going to make it, too. Oh, come on, you'll do just fine without me. Out of sight, out of mind. In, in a lot of ways, I tried to use 90210 as a, as a as film school, basically, for me. And, um, you know, I was working with, for Aaron Spelling. I mean, you gotta learn how, you gotta learn how to make TV. I mean, he's the king, right? So, um, so I really, I really worked very hard and, um, you know, I directed 22 episodes. I produced 64, I executive produced 64. House on fire, you chillin' out alone, yeah! He's very confident in his ability and, uh, he knows the medium very well. It's good to be here in Buffalo with y'all. I'm gonna have to get myself a big new softball because I broke the last one on Tyler's head. I'm gonna dance right now or my name's not Ed. You know, I've been friends with the guys for a long time, you know, and, and uh, you know, I directed the old apartment video for him and everything, and, and I'd been talking to, to Steve and Ed, and, and uh, you know they said, hey, you know we're gonna we're gonna go to Ve we're coming to Vegas. We're gonna play in, in Vegas at the Hard Rock, and then uh, and then we're gonna go to San Francisco. And I said, well, you know I'd I'd really love to come to the show in Hart in in uh, in in Vegas, but I'd also like to go uh, to the show in San Francisco. Can I come on the bus with you? And they said, oh yeah, dude, come get on the bus. We'll go we'll go to San Francisco. It'll be fun. So uh, so I went. I saw the show in Vegas, and um, and I got on the tour bus, and. Uh, uh, just the, what went on on the bus that night and, and you know, the, the, the things that I saw and then waking up in San Francisco and, and just sort of that, that, that one brief experience on the road. So you really think light socks with the, well, the black maybe, shoes? Maybe not those lights. They look a little dirty. Well, I mean, that's just because from the inside of my shoe, the, oh, right, the leather okay. color is that. I get that, too. Yeah. Um, I, I'd put on some dark socks. Okay. Jason's my fashion maven. It fascinated me, so I, I thought, I thought well, you know, this would be this would be a great uh, you know great Canadian sort of uh, you know all all Canadian look at at what it, what it, what it's like to be a Canadian band who's working really hard. They earned their first ever U.S. gold record earlier this year, and their current song "One Week" is the number one song in America. 
They'll be playing a sold out crowd at the first Union Spectrum later this evening. They are Stephen Page, Ed Robertson, Jim Green, and Tyler Stewart. You know the veterans count his own, they're the families. You know, originally it was going to be a movie about, about, a, about a Canadian band who's working very hard to break in America. Well, all of a sudden, they, they're, they're, they're number one in America. So it's, you know, I, I think that the project sort of has to. <laughs> has, to, has to reflect what's going on with the band. Have a tendency to rub my mind on my sleeve. Have a history of taking up my shirt. It's been one week since you're locked in me. Threw your arms in the air and said you're crazy. Sometimes it's hard because he doesn't always hear things like the rest of us hear things, or like I hear things, I should say, specifically. Uh, Does he know what he's doing? Oh, he, absolutely. Absolutely. He told us today. He goes, <laughs> I've directed over 250 hours of primetime television that have earned more money than Canada's gross national product. <laughs> I've learned a lot on this on, on this on this film, you know, my, myself. Not only, and not only about, you know, about about myself and 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 sort of the. You know, I, I think on every project you, you you discover a lot of things about yourself, and, and you really you really see more strengths and weaknesses within yourself, and you find things within yourself that you. That, that you want to work on and things that you, you the, yeah. that you see and you say, you know what, I could have done that better and I should have done that, but this is how I'll do it better next time, you know? I think I'm pretty good at it. I've got, uh, you know, I've got, I've got a couple of, of things kicking around that um, hopefully one of them will come together. And, yeah, I'll be directing again.